Hi everyone, my name is Martin Wong. I'm the editor of Traders2Review.com, the website for the KLSC and SGX reviewing the truth as well as wwealth.my. Today I'm going to share with you a very interesting topic is how to invest like Warren Buffett. I'm sure most of you have heard about Warren Buffett, which is a household name in the investment of communities and if you ever switch on the CNBC or Bloomberg Warren Buffett is mentioned all the time so he has been a household name for many many years and there are various books on him on investing and how you can invest like Warren Buffett so today we're just going to spend a very short time to talk about a bit how you should invest or really uh, benefit from his style of investing like Warren Buffett now, Warren Buffett is the chairman of Berkshire Hathaway and he is perhaps is either number one or number two richest man in the world, according to Forbes International. Now, he's the first person who actually introduced buy and hold principle. And he said, if you cannot hold your investment longer than 10 years, 20 years or 30 years, you shouldn't be in the market. That's what Warren Buffett said, although I may differ uh, with him on those periods considering the period that we are uh, in the mid of 2012. Now over his career of uh, spending about 40 years beginning in 1969 when he was just an analyst coming out from the Columbia Business of School, he and his company Berkshire Hathaway has gained over double digit maybe around 20 over percent for the last 40 years isn't that great for being an, uh, a passive investor like Warren Buffett able to earn a double digit over that period of time now one of the things that he uh, does is that he doesn't believe in paying dividend you may aware that these uh, Berkshire Hathaway shares Berkshire Hathaway A you can find it on the American uh, stock market or you can use uh, Google it, you would see that he has not paid any dividends since it was listed. As such, the Berkshire Hathaway shares has gained more than a hundred thousand dollar per unit. Just imagine one share of Berkshire Hathaway can cost more than a typical house in Malaysia. Right. And another thing about him is that he buys into the old economy. He buys into the, the old economy, believing in the consumer monopolies. He has owned uh, stocks in Walmart, P&G, Johnson & Johnson, American Express, Coca-Cola, Washington Post, Gillette, Daily Queen, and a few more banks like Wells Fargo. So those are what we call day-to-day -day consumption in what he calls the main street. Things that you will see on the main street. Now, one of the things that he does is he looks for good quality companies. Everyone can look for good quality companies, but the key thing here is looking at undervalued prices. Like in Malaysia, many of you would say that Public Bank is a good quality company. However, at the current prices, it is not a bargain prices. So, which tells you the lead me to point number two is everybody can find a good company just ask your neighbors ask your friends but the question is can you find it at bargain prices the third principle he always talk about is the margin of safety now margin of safety is getting a value uh, which is way below the market prices that offer some sort of safety uh, that should the stock price appreciate you will get to gain from that so those are three very simple principles of Warren Buffett and how he invests. Now, what you want to do now is actually focus in some of the things that you can use for your day-to-day -day investing and how you can invest like Warren Buffett, the Malaysian style. Now, first of all, is focus on the old economy. Okay. So what he says is focus on the old economy, on the consumer monopoly. 
Now, he doesn't like dividend, but for the current time frame that we have, uh, ever since 2007 and 8 onwards going forward, right? We have to go for dividend paying company. Okay, let me just put this. Okay, and three, right? You must have a company that produces high return of equity. Right, plus net cash position or cash flow. Okay, this is important because we want to ensure a company will able to give an adequate return on their equity as well as generating uh, cash flow sufficient to pay for the capital expenditure as well as the day-to-day uh, -day expenses. Number four, right? We must have what we call recurring income which in turn generate predictable okay earnings now this is also important because we want to see the predictable earning that increase year by year so that's also important. We want to see uh, er growing in earning per share as well as revenue per share. And the fifth one is the business model must be simple. That you are able to explain to perhaps a 9-year-old or 12-year-old child what that business is all about. And if you cannot, don't invest. That's what Warren Buffett say. And six, perhaps which is the most important one, you have to look at whether the shareholder okay, actively buying its share buyback, okay, its shares. That's also important. We want to know that shareholders are active buying its shares. There are some companies in Malaysia where shareholders are, that's particularly one on the plantation uh, counter as another one on the infrastructure where the family interest is in the company and they are actively buying its shares, preventing that shares uh, some sort of support. And that's good looking even from a technical standpoint. And finally, I think which is very difficult for most people is because a lot of us tend to ri re uh, rely on other people to tell us what to do. Now, don't be a sheep, right? Be what we call a independent thinker. You must stand on your conviction on why you would buy this stock and continue to hold it or sell it right so be an independent thinker don't follow the mass market because the mass market tend to be wrong so how to invest like Warren Buffett these are the seven points the first one focus on the old economy two go for a dividend paying company three look for company with high return on equity how high we will cover that in the later uh, educational series and also companies that produce net cash flows as well as Better still, do not have any debt at all. Four, recurring income as well as earning that is predictable and also growing. Five, a business model that is so simple that a 9-year-old or 10-year-old boy would understand. And six, shareholders actively buying its shares. Seven, which is in my opinion, is to be an independent thinker. Right? You have to think for yourself and you have to have the conviction to hold on to your investment, even good or bad days, and not influenced by the masses. So that's all I have with you on our educational video series. This is Martin Wong from editor of Traders Truth Review and WL.my signing off. Thank you for listening. I'll see you in our next educational video series. Bye bye.